Chess Pride, welcome back to part 45 of my Sims 4, the AZ Baby Challenge. This is basically the 100 Baby Challenge, but instead of having 100 babies, we're having a baby for every letter of the alphabet. And guys, this kid right here is way too happy to be awake at 4.20 in the morning to do homework. I'm just saying, like, he is just way too cheery for just getting out of bed. It's a little alarming. It's a little alarming. But he is the only one awake right now. Mom is not even awake right now because she was up all night keeping care of the newborns. So she, her energy bar is not full, sadly. She's normally up around now. But we'll let her sleep until the next one cries. But speaking of the uh, babies, if you missed last episode, we had triplets for the Z baby. Thank God that is the last letter of the alphabet. We don't have to be pregnant anymore. She can be free to just be a mom. But we had triplets. Like, I have only ever gotten triplets, like, one other time. I only have had triplets, like, once. And that was before infants. I, well, I, I played with uh, the three infant challenge, but that was not just in my gameplay randomly spawning three triplets. So, we have these to take care of, and as soon as everyone leaves for school and we get Yuri, our toddler's potty skill up, because the only skill she is lacking is the potty skill, we can age her up, and then we'll age up all of them so we can give them one huge makeover, and then we'll have a child, so we won't have three infants and a toddler, we'll have three infants, two children, and an adult, and hopefully Zayden here when he comes home from school today, will be an A student. He already has, those, already has those gold checks. I just need him to keep care of his needs and do his homework. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Everyone else is asleep except for Zayden. So I'm going to play with him for a minute. Oh, our toilet's broken. Okay, let's um replace that. I'm not going to spend the time uh, mopping like I normally would. But he's going to take a brush shower and use the restroom. We'll eat some breakfast. What do you want? What do you want? I don't even know what's in there, to be honest. You're eating French toast. That's appropriate. That's appropriate. And then how about you go ahead and do your homework when you're done. And what do we want to listen to? You know what? We never listen to the kids' station. And he's a kid. And he's choosing the music. So I'm going to turn on the, the kids' radio. And then we can uh, listen. What? Did I not turn it on? Uh, turn on. Oh, I, I clicked listen to instead of turn on. Okay. Listen to kids radio. There we go. So that works. Oh, and there's a baby crying. There is a baby crying. I didn't even hear it that time. Goodness. All right. Wake up, mom. Wake up. I know you're not fully rested, but you might have to just deal. Which one's crying? Zelda. All right, Zelda. Let's go ahead and super efficient newborn carry you. There we go. There we go. Let's fast forward this a little bit. It's, oh, yep. I was about to say, is any of the rest of them starting to cry? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need a baby care. Oh, this one apparently also needs feeding. I wasn't even aware. Okay, but I'll feed that one. And then also maybe... Uh, change its diaper and rock. Maybe you should rock it before you change its diaper. Uh, I don't want to show off too. Why do I keep, keep almost clicking that? Alright, baby care, change diaper. Yes, I know there's a crying baby. Deal with it. You're, it says you're holding the baby, but you're feeding the baby. So I'm a little confused. But she seems happy. Oh my goodness. Now you have a dirty diaper. Of course you do. Okay, baby care. Change their diaper. This is not going to get better when it becomes infants. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, hey, thank God William is still here. Because William is an adult, so he can help out. So you're in here eating your breakfast. Gun you, gun you. Alright. Yeah, I think mom's just going to have to be up. She's not going to get fully rested today. I think that's just that's just how it's going to be. Okay, cha change your diaper. Also... There's about to be several infants, so I feel like I should invest in another trash can because we are constantly throwing away trash in this this 
uh, series between bottles and diapers, and there's going to be three of them. Well, there is three of them. Then, uh, yeah, we need to invest in another trash can. We have room. We have room. Okay, we can throw that away. Are you bottle feet? You no, know, you're rocking it. Okay. I think oh, your kids are good. You can put the kid down. All right. Whew. That, that was a little hectic. Are you working on your homework, sir? Yes, you're about to work on your homework. Fantastic. Mom, before the toddler wakes up or another baby starts crying, come here and take a brisk shower because that's all you have time for. Use the restroom. Honestly, I could have probably had you wash your hands, but I feel like the brisk shower takes a little less time, honestly. And then uh, you need to try to come and get... Well, there's spoiled food in here. I have to clean out the spoiled food. Oh, it's just a plate. Okay, we're good. We're good. And then let's try fruit salad. Let's grab some fruit salad. Oh my god, we have so many baby prints and birth certificates. <laughs> oh god, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. How are you doing your homework? You didn't get started as quickly as I wanted you to. We might turn off the music. And we actually, we, you know what? We need to listen to... No, I want to change the station. Change the station to focus music. That way he still gets his fun up, but it helps him focus. And mom, if you're in here eating, you can also help him with his homework, which will also make it go a little bit faster. Can you do that while you're eating? No? Okay, how much longer does your food have? It doesn't say. All right, just help him with his homework real quick, and then you can eat your fruit salad. I just need him to get done in the next hour. So, is he, how is he coming? He's halfway there, so I don't know if it's going to happen. But I really need him to age into a teenager today, because today is Friday, and if he doesn't age into a teenager today, he will have to wait till next episode. So, that is not how I want to do. Oh, and Yuri is awake. Yuri is awake. Do not wake up. Will oh, William is awake. What are you doing? You're coming to grab a serving of food. Yeah, that's fine. And then you carry your bladder needs. Yuri, you need to use the restroom, which is perfect because you need to get that potty skill up, girl. So let's go potty twice in a row, actually. Just back to back potty. And then I'll feed you. Let's see, Mom. How much longer on his homework? Oh, 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 I think he just finished. Fantastic. And a baby's crying. Baby's crying. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, can you come in? How about let's change the station back to kids radio? And then honestly, you know, everything on you looks good. So why don't you, while you're waiting on school to start, come and dance. Just hopefully I won't make forget to make him go to school. Mom. Yes, I'm, I'm actually going to tell you to finish eating your fruit salad before or you go keep care of the baby because once you go to keep care of the baby, more of them are going to start crying. So let's see, is Zach that is crying currently? What do you need? You need a diaper change. Oh, there's a bottle on the floor. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and can we? Yes, we can super efficient baby him. Thank goodness. I love that interaction. I just wish it wasn't a timed thing. That you can only do every so often. Alright. All of them are in good moods right now. You are potty training. Mom, can you jump in on this potty training? Let's see. I think you have to actually start it with him. I don't think you can just come and help like you can with homework. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, let's see. Is your, your needs are actually decent. So, how about you come in here? Um. Let's see. Is... Almost 8 o'clock. What are you doing? Okay, don't listen to kids radio. Just dance to kids radio. There you go. There you go. Have a little dance party. Alright, mom. What are you doing? Oh, you're just watching her. Well, I guess that makes sense. You're you almost done. I actually kind of want to uh, have you ask mom to help pie train you. Dang it! I did it again! I did, literally just did this last episode. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's... Let's... That's, that's, that's good enough. That's good enough. All right, Yuri, when you're done, I would like you, all right, Mom, where are you going? Where are you going? I did not tell you you could walk away and paint. No, no. Come here. Go here. 
And Yuri, I would like you to potty help from mom. But that did point out that there's a painting that needs to be sold. So I'm going to sell that real quick for $733. Fan freaking tastic. Hey, they're potty training. You're late for school. You're late for school. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Like I, I said, I, was, I knew I was going to get shot at. His, uh, he's probably a, uh, yes, you can like dancing. William was probably complaining to him that he didn't go to school in time. Okay, but, I mean, he already has the gold checks, but I just don't want to risk it. So, I'm going to make him work hard anyways. Okay, come on, go to school, go to school quickly. Thank you. All right, study hard. Fantastic. Oh, William, what are you doing? Oh, you're coming to work on the watering. You know what? I love that. I love that. So how about you come water this, and then you can weed this, and then honestly just harvest. Honestly just harvest. Because we need the money. Well, not really, but out of habit we need the money. Yuri is a little singer. That's cute. Did you go potty already? Wow, that was quick. How's your skill coming? You know what? You're almost there. You're 78% there. How about you do one more potty training session with, with mom? So, potty help, angel, and then we can age you up, and we will also age the, the babies into infants. Oh, and then we'll really need William's help. Alright. Did I make you study hard? Yes, I did. Just double checking. Now, let's fast forward this. And it takes a minute. I just need to get that skill to level 3. As soon as it's done, I will let her be free to age up. I may even let her eat beforehand. Or should I make her... It, it would go faster to wait until she's a child to eat, actually. So I may just age her up while she's hungry. Which I never do, but, you know. Might as well. Alright, come on. Are you almost done? I thought this was fast forwarding. Oh my god, you were so close. Are you serious? 96% complete. Oh, and you made the toilet filthy. Hey, okay, let's just do one more... Little potty training sesh. I said that last time, but literally this is gonna be the last one. So come in here. Come on, you can. You only have to go all the way. Just do it until your skill gets up. Come on. And yes, you got it. You got it. Okay, get up off the toilet, mom. I would like you to come. Uh, this is dirty. Why doesn't it let me clean it? I'm so confused. That one I can clean. We can. Stop potty training her. Oh. Now can I clean it? There's this one in inventory. I know it's dirty. It's not as dirty as that one, but it's still dirty. Well, that's annoying. That's annoying. I'll let the pu puddle be there. I just want to clean the potty chairs real quick. And that means that Yuri has all her skills to level 3, so we can go ahead and age her up. And principal's visit. Today, the principal is visiting Zayden's class. Everyone wants to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid behind him has decided to pelt him with something. Should he ignore it or, or ask the kid to stop? Always just ignore it and notification walls full. Yep, they got away with it. Okay, so let me clear this notification wall. Fantastic. All right, Yuri, it is time. It is time. Let's go ahead. More choices. Open up this fridge. Pull out the cake. Bam, boom, bam. Yuri, you need to change your outfit. Can you change your outfit real quick? Change outfits into your everyday wear. We've hardly seen you in that, but it's fine. <laughs> At least you can get your picture taken in it. And then let's go ahead and candles help mama. All right. Let's see what you look like as a child. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta get a good picture of her aging up. Let's see. There we go. That's a cute one. That's a cute one. Fan freaking tastic. Okay. So Miss Yuri is aging up. And with children, I randomize the trait. And then I'll ask Google for a number one through eight for the aspiration. Because the aspiration, there's only eight aspirations for kids. So, and she's going to go all the way over there to age up. Jeez, okay. So like I say, I randomized the trait. So I'm just going to randomize it three times. And the third is going to be her trait. So one, two, three. She's an insider. How annoying. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't like that trait. It, it's just kind of annoying. But the game chose it, so what you gonna do? But now I'm gonna ask Google, give me a number one through eight. And it gave us the number five, which means they got the Playtime Captain. You know, that actually kind of fits together. The fact that they want to be in a club and they want to be a Playtime Captain, which means to pretty much have a bunch of friends, actually totally makes sense. That actually works. That actually works. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and age her up. All right, you definitely need a makeover, girl. Girl, you need a makeover. Okay, but her face is really cute. Hold on, let me get her the sparkle. Yeah, your face is cute, girl. Your face is cute. She looks like she's going to be a little bit more on the tomboyish side. So that's kind of cool. But we need to age these babies up into infants. Oh, should I, I should have mom eat first. Oh, no, wait. That's not mom. Wait, I was about to say, I could have mom ate. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Yuri, you're hungry. So how about you go ahead and eat something? Uh, just go ahead and get some leftovers while you're getting fruit and salad. Good girl. That's a healthy choice. All right, mama. Mom is, let's age them up in the order they're born. So first we'll do Zelda, then we'll do Zack, and then we'll do Zayla. More choices, baby care. Age on up. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is going to be insane. This is actually going to be insane. All right. So I got to get a picture of her aging up the baby. Can you like make a little, woohoo. Let's see. I wanted to get a picture of her, like, being excited for this, but I guess that's not going to happen. There we go. All right, so Zelda is aged up. I just randomized the infant's traits three times, so let's do that. One, two, three. It looks like we have sensitive. Aw, that's cute. All right. Oh, and she has the yellow cheese baby poo hair. That... She, that Link has. That's actually appropriate. That's actually a good color for her. Okay. Well, that one's aged up, so let's go ahead. More choices. <laughs> Baby care. Aged the middle one up. Mr. Zack. Alright. Let's get this picture of her being all impressed. Alright. Come on. Come on. Age on up. Alright. This is our boy. Out of the three, so let's age, give him a random trait. One, two, three. Sunny. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. And you have mama's blonde hair. Okay. One link hair, one mama hair. I'm very curious to see what this last baby's hair is going to be. So let's go ahead and age Miss Zayla up. Come on, Zayla. You got this. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, this one's aging up. And she will be one, two, three. Sunny as well. Okay, that's cute. Oh, and she has the cheese hair. Oh my god, they aged up with the exact same hair color and hairstyle. I actually kind of love that. <laughs> I kind of love that. Okay. Okay, but we have four makeovers to go do, so let me go do that. All right, here we are with the makeovers. Let's start with Miss Yuri. So since she is the rainbow child and she aged up very tomboyish looking, that's kind of the vibe I went for is very tomboyish and rainbow. And where I couldn't put rainbow, I put red. So this is her. She has the short, like, little wave bang haircut with the color striped. I thought this color kind of looked like it was fading from red to pink. So I, I thought that was kind of appropriate with her main color being red besides rainbow. But of course I got her to wear the rainbow heart shirt for at least one of her outfits. So that's her every day. We have her formal, very tomboyish. We have this for her athletic. Honestly, I love it. I love this little rainbow top. I don't remember getting this top, but I think it's adorable. We have her sleepwear. We have red shorts with, like, rainbow handprints on a, a shirt. We have her 
party wear, which honestly, I kind of love. I kind of love. I think this is a look for her. We have her swimwear. Just went all rainbow. We went for this with her hot weather. So we brought back the rainbow heart shirt. And then this is her cold weather wear. I know it has short sleeves, but this is like my favorite little jacket that has a rainbow on it. And it came in a red swatch, so I had to. Plus, we live in like pretty warm weather, so it's fine. It's fine. She'll probably never use it. But that is Miss Yuri. And then we have the three infants. So I'm just going to go in order. So first we have Zelda. And because these are the last three, I was like, I want to just come up with random color options. So they go in the color of the rainbows. So Zelda is red and orange. Zack is yellow and green. And Zayla is blue and purple. So we have our rainbow child plus our rainbow triplets. So this is Miss Zelda uh, and her uh, everyday where she has the bread on top, orange on bottom. Kind of theme I went for. It's one color on top, one color on bottom. Uh, here's her formal. Legit the same, just different shoes. I use a lot, a lot of repeating outfits with these uh, infants. I'm sorry. Uh, we didn't get much orange in here, but I thought that this, like, faded color was kind of orangey. So, this is her sleepwear. We have her party wear, which I thought was quite cute. We have her hot weather, which is the same as her every day. And her cold weather, we have the little, uh, hoodie and sweatpants. So, that is Miss Zelda. And then we have Zach. So Zach is yellow on top, green on bottom for the most part. This is him up close. His face is slightly scary. I feel like he's going to look very interesting once he ages up. But this is his everyday. And honestly, he wears his shirt in most of his outfits. So this is his everyday. This is his formal. This is his sleepwear, which I kind of love this outfit. I think it's really cute. We have his party wear, which is the same as his formal. We have his hot weather wear, which is the same as his every day. And then his cold weather wear is some green jeans and a little yellow lion hoodie. And finally, we have Zayla, who actually has the pointed ears that Link has, which means she is also a spellcaster. So, our final child, our last child, the last child we gave birth to is a spellcaster, which I think is kind of cool. So, that is, is something cool about her. This is Zayla, so her colors are blue and purple. Blue on top, purple on bottom, mostly. So, this is her every day. We have her formal. We have her sleepwear. Which I, I kind of love. It's, it kind of has blue and purple on both top and bottom. But I kind of like that the main color is blue on top and the main color on bottom is purple. This is our party wear. Pretty much the same as her every day. Again, hot weather. Same as every day. And her cold weather, we have a hoodie and some purple cargo pants. So that is all the makeovers. Let's go ahead and jump back into game. All right, here we are back in game, and these are all the infants aged up and placed together. This is just how they were when I came back, and I thought it was adorable because they were kind of in the order they were born in, which means the rainbow colors were kind of in order. So I thought it was a cute shot. So we have all of them, plus this is Yuri in gameplay. Super cute. But let's go ahead and set up Yuri to do some stuff so we can keep her busy. Can I throw this? Thank you. Alright. But let's see. How is... Her needs are good. So let's go ahead and maybe have her go ahead and knock out her homework. So you can do your homework and listen to kids radio while you do it. And William, I'm going to need your help with these infants. Oh my god, the cake is still out. Okay, first of all, William, um, I'm going to need you to come put cake on the table or on the the we need candles on the cake so let's come add some birthday candles also we can sell everything in his inventory including his homework so sell for 493 dollars thank you all right so come put candles on the cake mom 
Okay, we're gonna need to do a little um renovation a little bit. Well, actually, we don't want to do too much. I think we could actually just put one more crib here. Which one's which way is the I don't know which way it's supposed to go. Hold on. It goes like that. Okay, but we're going to turn move objects on and put one more crib in here. There we go. Move objects. Put a crib here. And honestly, I'm going to alt place it a little bit closer so it doesn't block the doorway quite as bad. Just scoot them both over a little bit. It's a little block of the doorway, but I think we can make it work. Maybe scoot this over. Should be in the middle. Kind of like in the middle. Now let's scoot this over and we want another one right here. So we have three of the mats. Three cribs. And honestly, we might want another changing table too. I don't know if we can make it fit though. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. We can put, we can put the trash can there. Okay. Can we put this here? I think that'll work. I think that'll work. I'm pretty sure it'll work. I can scoot this over some. We can scoot this crib down some to make sure everyone has room. Do we want to buy another trash can? I mean, we have three infants. We might as well buy, it. buy another one. <laughs> this house is ending with four nano trash cans. Oh my god. Thank god I made good money in this Let's Play. Alright, but that is... I think it's going to do it because we already have three beds for a toddler. So I think that should do for infants. And we need to get these infants moved over here. So I think I'm going to put the two girls over here and Zach over here. I think that's what I'm going to try to do at least. Are we? Okay, we're celebrating her. So how about we also put down Zayla. And then you can put down Zelda. And then... William, when you're done putting candles on the cake, which I'm just going to make sure you do first. Come on. Let's go. Fast forward a little bit. Put candles on the cake. There we go. I'll put that in the fridge. And I need you to put down Zach. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone's needs are good, right? No one needs to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, the two adults that are doing this. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Megra wants to see if we can call and chat. I'm sorry, baby. We do not have time. We do not have time whatsoever. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why what why can't you put the child down? I told you to put the child down. Are you doing it now? I'm so confused. Okay, come on. Let's get this child in here, please. And you know what? What does Zach need? He is tired, but he's kinda hungry. So William don't want run away from me. Let's go ahead and more choice baby care, um, feed, bottle feed, and then he can take a nap. She's already asleep. Oh, and we're about, we just woke her up. Is she asleep in her arms? No, okay, wake up so we can put you on the mat, please. Where are you going? Oh my goodness. I hate infants. Or at least so many infants. Like, reset, reset. I have done three by myself before, but it's just been a long time. Let's try this again. Put down Zelda. Just come put her down. Let's see. Zayla, what do you need? You're hungry and you need attention. Okay. So, you are pretty tired. So, I'm going to let you, when you go to the nap, go ahead. Or to the map, go ahead and take a nap. So, let's come here and uh, come here and try to go night-night. And then, Mom, you're not done yet. Hey, okay. she is hungry, right? That's what, yeah, she's hungry. And yeah, you're hungry, so let's come here. And mom, I don't know what you're planning on doing, but instead I would like you to bottle feed. And then maybe we can, right quick, try to squeeze in uh, some tummy time. But we'll feed her first because that's what she's mainly. She is kind of tired. But I need to get some kind of uh, training done on some of them. What are you doing to them? You're comforting him. Oh, that's cute. What does he need? He's he's good, but he's a little tired. Okay, so how about let's put Zach down. And then we're going to do tummy time 
a little bit with him. Just a little bit. Hey, come on. Put him back down. There we go. Oh, there's a bottle. Let's throw that away. Alright, so let's go ahead and friendly activities. Let's do some tummy time together. I know you're tired and know you're gassy, but let's try to uh, get a little bit and move on. Just a little bit. You're still in the house and gonna let you sleep. Alright, we are doing a little bit of tummy time. Mom is done feeding the baby. Alright, you... Alright. Are you going to place her down? Are you, gonna, are you going to do tummy time on the mat? Or is that totally going to be a problem? Megra, not now! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're cradling her. I need you to put her down on the mat. Please? Please. Because she is not even in the yellow... Okay, stop playing in the trash can. Put her down on the mat. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's see you... Okay, you're exhausted. I'll let you go to sleep. Go night night. Let's see you. How are you? You know, you're actually pretty up in the green, so you could wake up and William, you could come go ahead and cuddle and just give her a little bit of attention and then we will baby care, feed, bottle feed. Let's go ahead and do that. Mom, I need you. Friendly activities. Tummy time. Pretty please. And she's doing pretty good. I know, I know. You're awake and sad. You don't like being awake. You're trying to go to sleep. And you, I honestly probably could let her rest more, but I really wanted to get some kind of progress done with this. Okay, are you doing your homework? Just in time. I finished. I caught you finish your homework just time. Is he helping with homework? Okay, if he's not helping with homework, let's just ignore him. Hey, come on. Let's uh, finish our homework. Come on, come on. No, I don't want to talk right now. Okay. So I think the obvious choice with her being so tomboyish and whatnot would for her to be to get the motor skill up. So I'm going to have her come play on the jungle gym a lot because I feel like that would be what she would want to do. And then we need to do these. Okay. When you're done feeding her, put her down. Come on. Let's see. Yeah. Which one finishes first? Oh, oh tum looks like tummy time finished first. Let's do it again. Let's do another tummy time. You put her down on the mat. And then uh, she she is a little tired. But how about let's go ahead and just squeeze in a little bit more tummy time. Just a little bit. Okay, Zach is fully asleep. I'm gonna let him rest till he at least gets in the green. I love that they're both doing tummy time. That's actually kind of adorable. Oh, good. We got the lift ahead milestone. Right, we, got, we got a milestone with Zayla. I think it was Zayla, right? Yeah, Zayla. Okay, but let's get a picture of all of these little infants here on the mats. Oh, my goodness. I may not even use the cribs with these, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see. You're you're playing on the playground. You're good. You're good. I did I didn't check your needs though. Eh, you kind of need social, but we'll get that up in a little bit. We'll get that up in a little bit. Hey, mom. She she can go a little bit longer. Cause she only got the one milestone, right? Yeah. Oh, that's Zelda. Fun. I'm mixing them up. I'm mixing them up. Yeah, she's a little tired, but she very much needs to get it more miles on. She has one mile on. She has more than the rest of them. <laughs> she has more than the rest of them. But let's go ahead. What are you doing? Okay, let's not try to go night night. And instead, mom, ignore your phone call. No, I don't want to donate to charity. Let's go ahead. Friendly activities do tummy time. Let's see. How are you doing? Same deal. You, you're a little tired, but I think you could do a little bit more tummy time. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's do some more tummy time. And it looks like Mr. Zayden is about to be home, and he is going to be an A student, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So while the infants are being taken care of, we can age him up. Yep, he is an A grade. He can become a teen just in time for the weekend. 
All right, all right, all right. So, um, honestly, when you're done with tummy time, go night night. And when you're done with tummy time, go night night. And then, who has worse needs, Mom or William? Honestly, William's is a little worse. So maybe, Mom, when you're done, he's still he didn't, he's still in the yellow. Okay, well, I guess Mom and William just both take care of their needs real quick while they have a chance. <laughs> All right, so let's go here and use the restroom. We'll wash our hands an extra time. And then she's not starving, but we might as well eat uh, while we can. And then you can also get some leftover. No, I don't want you to cook a grand meal. I want you to open up and get some grilled cheese. And then go keep care of your restroom needs so you can take a brisk shower and pee like a champion. Okay. All right. Let's focus on Zayden here. It is time for you to age up, buddy. It is time for you to age up. So let's go here. Let's open the fridge. Let's get out our cake. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, buddy. It is time for your big moment. So let's go here and let's blow out the candles. Woohoo! All right, so for children and turning into teens or teens turning into adults, I tend to use James Turner's random trait generator. And we just got a, a milestone in Zelda. Yay! Okay, let me get this picture. There we go. All right, so I ended end up using James Turner's random trait generator just because it randomizes the aspiration too and I find that really handy and you can select what packs you do and don't have so that's really nice so Zayden is a perfectionist so let's click generate and see what we get oh this is so cute I think it's because he has three infant little siblings plus a little sister but he wants to be a super parent. How freaking adorable. All right, so we have the super parent aspiration. And then their trait is goofball, which I think is adorable. So I will, if I can find it. There we go, goofball. All right, all right. So we have a super parent wannabe as a perfectionist and a goofball. I think he'll probably be helping out with the babies a little bit. It, considering he wants to be a super parent. I wasn't planning on having him help out with the baby, but I think it would be appropriate. Oh my god, his face looks exactly the same. And he aged up with the same hairstyle. Okay, I think it's just meant to be that he has that hairstyle. But let's go ahead and add birthday candles to the cake before anyone eats it. Come on. And bam, boom, bam. There we go, ma'am. Alright, so I can put that in the fridge. And I gotta give him a makeover. First, you're keeping care of your needs. You're keeping care of your needs. You're trying to go night-night and the other two are already asleep. Okay. Let me just have her go night-night real quick. Um, come on. Okay, you're asleep and you are continuing to play on the playground. You're almost to level three. So maybe I'll have you stop and kind of keep care of your needs a little bit. Um, you can actually come socialize with your brother while he eats. I think that would be a good, good thing. Maybe we can, um, talk about favorite animals and, uh, talk about toys and talk about toys again because you're a kid. You just need to get your social up a little bit. And while you do that, I'm going to go give Mr. Zayden a makeover. All right, here we are with Zayden's makeover. So he obviously has always had a purple thing. His dad is a rock star, so I kind of kept with the slight same rock star aesthetic. He has a child. We tried to mix that goofball in, especially since he wants to be a super parent. So it's kind of a mix of both. He already has likes and dislikes. He likes dancing. Okay. But he has the same hairstyle. His face looks pretty much just the same as it did when he was a kid but this is his every day had to do the classic striped hoodie with the striped pants love it we have his formal and want to give him the big goofy bo go 
bow tie since he is a goofball. We gave him this as his athletic wear. We have this as his fa uh, sleepwear. I thought it was very family friendly appropriate with a little bit of goofball. Uh, we have his party wear, which is probably my favorite outfit of his. Just the stripes and the stripes I love. Uh, we have his swimwear. We just went purple. We have his hot weather wear. Just, I basically went purple. I liked the little netting in the shirt, though. I thought that was nice. And then this is his cold weather wear. We brought back the striped pants, gave him some boots, but being the goofball he is, he just put on a big fluffy purple sweater so i love zayden he is a complicated mix but i think he's absolutely adorable so let's go ahead and get back into gameplay all right here we are with zayden in game after his makeover looking super cute i have him set up to keep care of his knees before he does his homework uh william i'm gonna just let E and have yuri come talk to to get her social up as soon as she gets done playing, mom's taking care of her needs. And we're going to let these infants sleep for a minute because I'm a little tired dealing with them. Uh, no, I don't want you giving one my number, Marcus. Sorry. All right. But come eat and you will pr be pretty good on your needs. See, so you're, you're, you're tense. What are you tense for? Oh, losing confidence. That's so sad. Oh, now she has a social skill level two. Go figure. Okay. But you pretty much got your social up. So how about you come in? You know what? Really? You don't need to eat yet. Let's come keep care of your hygiene since you got done playing outside. You can come take a shower. Use the restroom. And then honestly by then maybe. Well have you done your homework? I forget. I think she did. Yeah your homework is complete. So how about you just keep care of your hunger. Really? You could probably get away with a quick meal. So you can uh, have a quick meal of some applesauce. That sounds delicious. Okay, so you can eat there. You're done getting your needs up. So how about you come up here? You also need to use the restroom. So you come take a shower. Use the restroom. There we go. Zach, you know, you're getting kind of, you're in the green and honestly, I don't think you have any milestones, do you? Yeah, you have no milestones except for your uh, social. So maybe, Mom, since your needs are up, let's go ahead and go in here. We won't wake him up until we get in here. Just give him a little bit more time. All right, let's go ahead. Where are you going? What did you do? Uh, go back here, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's go ahead and wake him up. And we need to work on some stuff with him. So first of all, how's his needs? He he can he can do a little bit of tummy time before oh, we keep care of his needs, honestly. Honestly. But oh, he's angry. He is angry. Okay, well, I really don't care if you're angry, you're gonna do tummy time. You're gonna do tummy time, whether you like it or not. Did you okay, I think you kept care of all your needs. No. You didn't keep care of any of your needs. Why? Why? And you kept care of your hygiene. That's it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Go back to the restroom. Please. Oh, the, the, the shower is broken. Fine. That's, that's fair. Use the restroom. Brush your teeth. And then come eat. Actually, wash your hands. Brushing your teeth before you, you eat is really gross. I wouldn't want to make you go through that. They eat that, then you need to do your homework. And while you do your homework, let's, uh, first of all, let's go. Oh, it is, it is broken. It is also broken. Okay. Well, can we replace? Yeah, replace. There we go. We had the money. We're fine. Uh, turn on. I feel like, what would you turn on? Uh, maybe some easy listening. And then we can, as we're doing our homework, we can do, listen to easy listening. There we go. There we go. You're set to keep care of your needs. You're taking care of your needs. You're taking care of your needs. Mom, you are doing tummy time with William. Perfect. He is mad about it. He is not happy. But we're going to make him suffer until he gets a milestone. 
<laughs> Let's see. Um, also, William, if you're almost done taking care of your knees. Oh, his dad's calling. Um, yeah, go for it. If you want to make a friend, sure, dad. Okay, but let's see. Who has better energy right now? Wait, so, Zayla has better energy. You're pretty much done. So, let's go ahead and fast forward you coming down here after you use the restroom. Oh, and we got the first milestone was Zach. Perfect. You're still all in the green. So, I'm just going to have you do some more tummy time, please. Thank you. Okay, you're keeping care of your needs. What did you... Oh, yeah, you kept care of your needs. Uh, I don't want to meet anyone. Sorry. William, we're gonna, gonna follow you to the baby. Because once you are down the stairs, we're gonna wake up the baby. Alright, come on. Alright, there we go. So, it was Zayla uh, that had the best. Yeah, Zayla had the best. So, let's wake her up. She still has really good needs. So, honestly, again, we are just going to jump into tummy time. I just... Need to give us milestones as soon as possible. I'm pretty sure she has. Yeah, she has the first milestone. It. So if she could just get the second milestone. And then honestly, what are you doing? You're doing your homework. Okay, I'm going to let you do your homework. I was going to say you could come work with them. I mean, he has the weekend to do his homework. It's fine. How about you come help out with the infants? So you. Yeah, you're still in the green. So let's wake you up. And then you can come here and help out with tummy time a little bit come on. this is a family effort everyone but yuri is going to be in here helping okay did you get your milestone no and your knees are still in the green okay okay mom i would very much like for you to do tummy time again because i very much would like to get a picture of all three of you doing tummy time with them at the same time oh my goodness this is crazy this is actually crazy. Like, why? Why did the game have to do this to me? Oh my goodness. Okay. They're all doing tummy time. Let's check on Yuri real quick. You're you're eating. You're eating. How about you clean up when you're done eating? That would actually be super helpful. You have your homework done. I don't exactly want you to work on your skill, but it's too early for you to go to sleep. Does anything in the garden need doing? No, the garden, of course, looks perfect because Patchy is so on top of it. So maybe she would just come here and, you know, I don't want her to do a puzzle. Can you change the game? Let's change the games to, can you do some puzzles by yourself? I don't know if you can. Hold on, let's come over here and change the game and test that. That um, Are you, okay, what are you doing? You're fussing, which means you're not doing tummy time. You are hungry, though. Mm, do we... How's your your milestones? Milestones? She has one. Maybe... Let's just see if we can get her to that second milestone real quick. Okay, come here. Okay, you're changing the game. Can you play the game by yourself, or do you have to do a puzzle? Practice symbols. Okay, you can practice symbols. That's good. You would have fun doing that. Oh my gosh, you just left Zach all alone. Let's see, how is he doing? Okay, he didn't get that second milestone, but he needs to use the restroom. He's tired and he's hungry. So let's go ahead, instead of trying to go night-night, let's go ahead and use our diaper. And mom, let's go ahead and more choices baby care. Feed, bottle feed, and then we can change diaper of Zach. Okay, stop paying attention to her. Keep care of Zach. You need to use the restroom. So instead of fussing, how about you use the bathroom? And you, you're still working on tummy time. So I'll deal with you after you're done with tummy time. But she is using her diaper and she's hungry. So how about you, sir, come here and more choices, baby care. Feed, bottle feed, and then you can uh, change the diaper on this one, uh, Zelda. Hey, stop stop it going over the other one. Zach loves me hell. Oh, good. Z Zayla got the rollover milestone. So she has both of her tummy time ones. Perfect. Perfect. We won't have to do too much with her. She is hungry, though. Um... Why are you doing tummy time again? You just... It was you that just got it, right? 
Yeah, you don't need to do another tummy time. Let's instead, I'm just going to cheat it down just enough for her to use her diaper to make it a little bit easier on me. Wow. <laughs> I'm not cheating for the better. I'm cheating for it to be worse. Okay, okay. But she's using her diaper, but we need to feed her first before a changing table will be open. So let's go ahead and more choices, baby care, feed, bottle feed. There we go. Zach is also very tired. Hey, okay, mom, when you're done, f done, uh, we can feed him more choices, baby care, feed, bottle feed, and then we can put her to sleep. Let's see, what are you doing? You change her diaper, your ball feeding her, and then change your diaper. Okay, come on. Let's fast forward this. It is almost 8 o'clock at night. They should be in their cribs by now. <laughs> All right. Yes, you're so stinky. I'm so aware. So, Mom, I wish you would move. <laughs> I wish you would move, but this is fine. Let's go ahead and put Zach to sleep here when we're done because he is tired. Okay, stop paying attention to that and get fed. Okay, you're feeding. Don't put her down. Don't. Of course you're going to put her down. Okay, well, I need you instead to change the diaper of Zayla, please. Change the diaper of Zayla. Can you do that with mom standing there? I don't know if you can. Let's see. Let's, let's put that in the trash can. But she really needs a diaper change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she's also really tired. Or she, yeah, they're both really tired. Okay. Uh, let's see. You, your needs are good. So let's go ahead and Zayden come and put her to sleep. So let's let's put Zelda to sleep here. And William, it is your turn to change a diaper. Let's change Zayla's diaper, please. She's the only one left. She's the only one left. And as soon as we're done with that, we can go ahead and put Zayla to sleep here. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got all of them taken care of and all of them are headed to sleep. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So you're going, you're trying to go to sleep, right? Yeah, you are trying to go night night. You are trying to go night night, and you're about to uh, get put down to sleep. Okay. Oh my gosh, I thought we would never finish. All right, but um, oh, you're doing creativity. You are just a very well-rounded child. I kind of love it. Okay, okay. Well, you know, what? actually, I'm gonna, I'm, I should have let her finish. Why didn't I let her finish? Let's oh. Because it's done. Okay. Well, let's put that in your, your inventory. Maybe we can put it up on the wall, actually. Let's see. There we go. We can put it right there. That works. That works. Okay, so we have a little bit more creativity. You are tired, though. It is early, but I think I'm going to go ahead and let her go to sleep. So, no one's in the girl's room so she can claim whatever bed she wants. I think she would claim the top bunk. She seems like a top bunk gal. So go ahead and claim your bunk and cozy. Oh Vlad's here. Vlad not now. Not now. Alright they're all going to sleep. Um, Mom what are you doing? I love that she's like I'm going to bed. I'm out. Actually that's it. That's all her needs need. So yeah go, go to bed girl. You, you actually have decent needs. You all right, all right. You need to come here and clean out the spoiled food, and then why don't you get some leftovers? And then while you're eating leftovers, you could listen to Easy Listening. And I know you're tired, but I'm gonna go ahead and have you do your homework once you're done eating. I think that'd be for the best. You're going to sleep. Your homework's already done, so you're good. Tomorrow you'll just have to work on skills. Oh, and I love that he's cleaning up all the diapers and whatnot. Okay, William, your needs are surprisingly good. Like, surprisingly good. Maybe you can, um, you know what? How about you just get a quick meal? I feel like that's just going to be the simplest for you. So let's have, not a microwave. Let's have some chips. And then top off your bladder need. No, not help clean. Use. 
and then what you're in this this one yes all right go to sleep so everyone is headed off to bed tomorrow we are going to be doing a lot of skill building with the kids and more chaotic craziness with the infants so let's go ahead and fast forward through the night all right it's the next morning it's 5 a.m it's time to start this process all over again and uh i think the look in mom's eyes just the quite the, the slight wince in her face really expresses how i feel right now <laughs> So, um, currently only two of the infants are awake, and they both just need diaper chains and be fed. So, right quick, I'm going to have Mom and William keep care of their needs. So, you can take a brush shower, use the restroom, and then come in here. Luckily, Zayla's not awake yet, but we'll have to, uh, get Zayla in here for, for that. Oh my goodness, I know, the babies are crying. Hurry up. I'm not going to have them eat yet, but they can at least keep care of their bladder and hygiene and whatnot. Is he Zillium? Wait, I think mom's gonna be in here first. Mom, I want you to keep care of Zelda. Oh, we just got the coup milestone for Zach. Yay! Okay. Okay. Mom, I would like you to come here and baby care feed bottle feed and change the diaper of Zelda. And also, while you're at it, go ahead and change her into her everyday wear. Because I think her everyday wear is cuter than her pajamas. So we're going to uh, have you do that. I know she's crying. Keep care of her. Don't check on her. Just keep care of her. William, are you on your way? Why aren't you coming down here? Come here. Come here. I need you to change the diaper of Zach. I need you to change the outfit of Zach to us every day. And then let's go ahead and more choices. Uh, feed him. So let's go ahead and feed Bottle feed, there we go, there we go. Alright, but Zayden, are you about ready to wake up? Like, mm, you're pretty good, you're pretty good. You can go ahead and wake up and keep care of your bladder needs while we're waiting on Zayla to wake up. So let's come here and quickly take a fresh shower, use the restroom. Alright, so you're good, and when you're done, you can go ahead and head on down this way. Zayla should be waking up right now. Right now, okay. Okay. All right. Well, when you are done, you can come here and bottle feed. I think it would be a minute before there's a changing station open, but you can go ahead and bottle feed her when you're done on the toilet. Mom, you're burping her. I would very much like you guys to... Did you, did you finish changing his diaper? Let's see. Change Zach's diaper. Oh, it's still queued up. Okay, I was about to say. Oh, and Yuri woke up with a loose tooth. How cute. Okay, come here. Let's let's keep care of this real quick. Uh, you, you're coming to keep care of her. You're keeping care of her. You're keeping, you're changing your diaper. Okay, right quick, we can go ahead and have her pull out the loose tooth while everyone is preoccupied right now. Come on, you got this. Sit on the bed and yank it out. Let's yank that sucker out, Yuri. Come on. And then you're going to sleep in this bed because it's lower to the ground. And you're going to place tooth under pillow and sleep. And then you can come in here and take a shower. Use the restroom. Actually, you don't even need a shower. Just use the restroom and go eat some food. Because after that, I'm going to have you work on the motor skill. Wait, William... You guys are all keeping care of our babies. Let's see, you're on your way to keep care of baby. Mom, are you done with the changing station? I think you are. I think you are. So let's go ahead and what are you doing? All right, let's not pick her up. Let's not check her on her. Let's go ahead and put Zelda down here. Because Zelda's needs are all good now. Oh, Zach got the pee on care. <laughs> Give her a milestone. Okay. That's good. Um... Oh, apparently she ate too many sweets and caused death to your teeth. Okay. Okay, I don't think she got a prize, but that's fine. That's fine. How about you use the restroom? Mom, you need... Stop. You need to very quickly come here and um, more choices for any activities tummy time. Uh, the only one that doesn't need to work on tummy time is Zayla. Let's see, what are you doing? 
you you have help on the way. William, actually, let's go ahead and set her up to, or sum up to change Zayla's diaper. And then William, how about since you have Zach, come put Zach down here. Yeah, all his needs are taken care of. So he needs to work on tummy time. So put him down on the mat. There we go. And let's more choices friendly activities. Tummy time. Oh, this is broken. Let's replace and then turn on lullabies. That has to be constantly on in the nursery. Call up lullabies. Okay. We're doing tummy time now. So let's see. Okay. Zelda got her second in tummy time. Wow. That took like no time at all. So let's see what she has left. Uh, milestone wise, she basically needs to work on fine motors. So she basically needs to be left alone. So let's go ahead and just have her repeatedly look at toys until she gets that first milestone with that. And mama, uh, go feed yourself. <laughs> you are starving. Do we have enough food? Do we have enough food right now? Because we're, g oh my God, we don't. Hey, you're going to need to make some quick foods. Let's, um, serve some fruit salad. <laughs> Actually, we may just make two fruit salads because that's the quickest breakfast food to make. Okay, let's just make two fruit salads. There we go. What? Oh, is someone coming to eat food? Yeah, she's coming to get food. Okay, well, you can come here while you wait on your daughter to get that. Oh, Zelda got the reach milestone. Let's see. Zach got the rollover milestone. Okay. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Mom, come here. And I want you to serve breakfast, fruit salad, and then more choices. Serve breakfast, fruit salad. Okay. Okay. So I think all the infants have all the. Uh. Uh. Okay. You have. Both your gross motors. Let's see. You have both your gross motors. And you already had both your gross motors. So you guys just need to be left alone. And work on the other motor. So. Oh. You are being placed down. You come here. You're already working on it. Actually you can cancel. And now play with toys. Because you got the first milestone from it. And then you can come here. And look at toys repeatedly please. Until. You get the option to play with them. All right. Well, William, are you hungry? Yes, you're hungry. Go get yourself some food. Oh, and Zayla got, Zelda got the coup milestone. Oh, and we just got the reach milestone for Zach. So he got the first one. Let's see. Oh, wait, you desperately need to come. Did you at least make one fruit salad? Everyone just keeps getting in her way, and she's hungry. Oh, and the garden needs taken care of. Okay, okay. So let's come here and uh, just come here. Go here. While we wait on William to get food. Johnny also needs to get food. Or I keep, why did I just call him Johnny? Zayden. Zayden needs to get food. Did you not change her diaper yet? I, I guess not. Okay, well, I guess you're keeping care of diaper changes then. Didn't realize you hadn't done that yet. Hey, right, you can now try this again. Let's go ahead and serve breakfast fruit salad. And then we can, more choices, serve breakfast fruit salad. Hey, right, I love you, Yuri. I know you need to keep care of your needs, but is there any... I oh, don't have enough mental skill to harvest. That's... Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I guess... Uh, William, you will be helping with the garden. I just, I really need you to just harvest all. Like, everything else is taken care of. Just harvest. And then you, okay, you are good. You've already taken yeah. care of your homework. So, you just gotta get your skill to level four. So, you're working on motor. So, let's come play on the playground repeatedly again. And your skill is A3 to level two. We need to get to level four. Let's see, you, you can come here. Let's pause this, and because I have to pause it, set it up repeatedly. Okay, so you're doing that. Are you trying to go to sleep? Okay, no. I was about to say, don't you try to go to sleep. Um, you, work on that, and you are being put down on the mat so you can work on that. There we go, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and... 
wait to put down there we go and we can look at toys repeatedly <laughs> all right while everyone all the infants are doing the same thing i kind of want to check on all their milestones just to see where we're at because we've been getting a lot of milestones when i wasn't paying attention oh my god i don't even have enough trash cans for this this is ridiculous okay anyways let's go ahead and check on on zelda first so she is working on her fine mode right now she needs her first she has her gross mode she has her social i love that they're getting the social so fast he needs fine motor got both his gross motor and got both his social and got one of his first and then you you're about to work on your fine motor you have your gross motor you don't have your first or your social so zayla really needs the most attention but right now you need to eat i agree i I, i'm not gonna stop you from eating sir i'm also gonna put this away i love how mom's just like screw a dirty counter okay you can clean the figure after that zayla it just got her reach milestone fantastic all right we got motor skill level three mom you're so working on cooking you're working on gardening and you when you're done you need to do a skill so let's see let's see what do you like you're a perfectionist goofball that wants to be a super parent i feel like dad jokes would be your best friend Oh, good. Zayla got her uh, social. Perfect. Okay, so when you're done eating, how about you come practice telling jokes until you get the skill to level three, the comedy skill? I think that would be good. I'm just going to set it up repeatedly. Are you... Oh, you could have finished eating. You know what? He barely had any left. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to cheat it because that was my fault for not letting him finish. And I can sell that for some money. All right. All right, let's look at these kiddos. So, do you need to continue? Yes, you need to continue. And you also can play with toys, which will help. You, few milestones, but you don't need to continue. You, well, you do need to continue on fine motor. So, let's set you up to play with toys some more. And y'all can sleep after you finish this. And you... Yeah, you still need to work on this. So I'm going to set you up to do that. Fantastic. All right, so they're all good to go. You're playing on the playground. You just got your motor skill level three. You just have one more skill to go. You're starting your skill. And honestly, what do you need? You need nothing. You need nothing. So, oh, he just got his grab milestone. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Which means he no longer needs to do this. Does he need a nap? Is he tired? I feel like they're all tired. And yeah, let's go ahead and have you take a bit of a, a morning, night-night turn. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. Let's see. You don't have that yet. You do have it, though. Okay. So you, ma'am, are free to go ahead and take a little bit of a nap. You're trying to go to sleep. William, what are you doing? Leave them alone. Leave them alone. They need to go to sleep. And Zayla. Zayla, you are the only one that, uh, that hasn't reached that milestone yet. So you're the only one not able to go to sleep. William, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. You're going to watch your brother perform. Fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. You work on that. Mom, you... We're right, you were cooking. Wait, right, mom, do you need anything else? Okay. How about how about you just chill a minute? I didn't think you would have a chance to chill today. How about you probably won't finish it, but you could do a medium pop art painting just just to relax a second to stop dealing with all the kids. Okay, let's see. I wanna kinda focus on her, her, get her getting her milestone. So let's fast forward. To see if it happens at the end of this interaction. Because I kind of would like for her to take a nap too. Considering she's getting tired. And I think she's getting it. Yes. She got the grab milestone. Okay. So you can stop doing that. And go ahead and go night night for a little bit. And all of them are asleep. Mom's having fun. You're keeping care of that. You're doing your skill. You're doing your skill. I think you're going to be the next one to get your skill up. Honestly. Um, let's go ahead and look at your skill. Yeah, you're almost there. You're 90% there. Let's go. Let's fast forward this. 
Um, all right, you got your skill level four, and honestly, can't do, do extra credit. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. First, take a shower. Go take a sh not in mom's shower. Not in mom's shower. Ooh, I like that pop art painting she's working on. It's freezer bunny. Okay, let's come here and take a shower. Uh, you can use the restroom while you're in here, even though you don't have to go that bad. And then you can just, I guess, go get food. If you're hungry, you could go be social. Alright. How are you coming on your skill building? Not very well. He <laughs> Okay, almost level two. Almost level two. I love that you're encouraging him. That's adorable. Oh, she just started another painting on her own. Do we have bills? No, I think we just have mail. So let's come here and, uh, yeah, sell that for $462. We can get the mail. And then, uh, I guess resume this after we do the mail since all the infants are asleep right now. So basically with the infants, oh, they all have to go potty so bad. Okay. So basically with all the infants, they just, oh, okay, she just needs her first, which means she just needs a bath. You just need your first, so you just need a bath. And you, oh my god, <laughs> just need your first. Okay, so I'm going to let them rest because their, their sleep speeds up a little bit quicker when they're infants, so... We will get them ready to age up, but I'm going to let everyone have a bit of a break. Just a bit of a break. Uh, maybe you can come socialize with your mom while she paints. Was it? Oh, go. We can beg for a new toy. We can make fun of adults. We can talk about school. Oh, you guys are waking up. I want you to sleep all the way. I, I would much prefer for you... To stay asleep a little bit longer. I know you gotta use your diaper. But you can use your diaper while you sleep. Yeah, you already did that. You can also use your diaper. There you go. So I'm gonna let them try to get it, their energy all the way up. Let's see. You You were coming to talk to your mom. You're still telling jokes. One more skill level to go. What are you doing? Leave them alone. Leave them alone. You know, you can use mom's restroom since she's not using it. Use the restroom and wash hands a couple times. And mom, let's finish this painting while you talk to your daughter. I love how she's eating and she is doing painting while they're talking. They're both like multitasking. And honestly, I want a picture of this. Look at this pose. And just that daughter aspiring after her mother. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, right, let's fast forward this. So, did you go back to sleep? Why? I told you to go back to sleep. Oh my god. Look at toys. Good night, night. Night, night. Good night, night. Alright. Uri just got social skill level 3. She is such a well rounded child. Alright, mom, let's go ahead and sell this for 480, $485. I really liked it though. That was cool. Okay, okay, stop. Okay, you, you go ahead and go back to sleep. Don't fuss. Just go back to sleep. You, you have to come in here every time they cry. <laughs> both of you, at that matter, at that matter. How about both of you come here? Well, you, you need to use the restroom. So how about you use the restroom, take a brush shower. You could, could... You know, just come in here and watch, you know, watch some comedy, sure. Come watch some comedy. You, how is your skill coming? You are 45% there. You got this, buddy. You got this. You can do this. Um, okay, you're doing whatever you want to do. What do you want to do for fun? If I press fun, what do you do? You are going to watch performance. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, fast forward this. I think the infants are going to wake up soon. So, say, who's going to wake up first? It looks like Zelda's going to wake up first. And it's getting kind of late. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and wake her up. Or all the... Uh, you're not available. But these two are. So, Mom, you're going to keep care of Zelda. She needs her diaper changed and she's hungry. Okay, let's um go ahead and baby care. 
feed, bottle feed, and then we can change diaper of Zelda. It's apparently the only a diaper change. Fantastic. All right, and then honestly, as soon as you're done with that, why don't you come and uh, give a bubble bath to Zelda? I don't know if that's going to mess up the order of things. I'm kind of hoping you'll stay. Oh, James Charles is our door. Uh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> don't need a baby daddy right now. All right, I think I think she's going to get a bubble bath last. Perfect. You are any of the other ones. Are you? Hey, you are almost done with him. So let's go ahead and deal with you. Let's go ahead and deal with you. So maybe, uh, I know she needs her diaper change, but maybe William could actually go over here to mom's shower and, uh, more choices. Give a bubble bath to Zayla before we keep care of her needs. And then we can, uh, more choices, baby care, feed. I'll feed and change Zayla's diaper. But let's go give her a bubble bath first so we can go ahead and get that out of the way. Because once they have their bubble baths, they can age up. I just want to make sure their air needs are good before they age up. And they don't want to age up with stinky diapers on. Alright. Oh my goodness. Velma, not now. <laughs> not now. This is intense, boy. This is intense. Alright, come on. Alright, stop, stop going to check on the other one. She's changed. Oh, wait, that was the one you were doing. Dang it! Dang it. Oh, she. Okay, she got her first. I need to uh, put the bottle feed back on there. Because I accidentally got excited and canceled it. Okay, go change your diaper and bottle feed her. Right? Alright, so she has all hers. So she can be aged up. I just very much want him to keep care of her real quick you did you bathe her did you bathe her let's not play peekaboo i didn't want to play peekaboo i i want i don't think i don't think you did your oh you did do your bubble bath okay right, she's good to be aged up so mom how about you go ahead and uh put zelda down here zach is awake and he is the last one that needs to be taken care of. So right quick, mom. Mom, I need you to uh, change. Oh, it needs cleaning. Great. Okay. Zach, how about we just... We're going to change your diaper without the changing table. And then we are going to... <gasps> Wait, home. We can do super efficient infant care. Oh, why am I just now realizing that? Okay. Do this. Do his. Come on. Alright. Bam, boom, bam. His needs are perfect, ma'am, which means we cannot be put placed down that. Can you not put him on the mat? I would very much like for you to give him a bubble bath. And then we can age these suckers up, and I will end the episode on a makeover. Because I'm sure this episode is already crazy long. So let's go ahead and give him a bath. I'm going to get a picture of all of them getting a bath, but I guess I can at least get the little boy getting a bath. Didn't really uh, get a lot of screenshots this episode, but it's been crazy, y'all. It's been crazy. You are... You're doing good. I don't know why you're screaming. Your bladder's a little low for my liking, but we'll aid you up first. <laughs> what? Oh, actually, it's harder. So maybe we'll get one more diaper change for her. One more diaper change for her. Um, Zayla, are you good? Right? You have everything? Alright, so Zayla, how about uh, William, you come here and put Zayla down. And then and William, you can come here and diaper change Zelda. Oh, apparently Zayla needs the diaper change too. Dang it! Do Zach does not, and Zach has all his milestones. Okay, so instead of you playing the tub, how about you come put Zach down here and then come and uh, baby care, change diaper. We're just, we're going to do it without the changing table, you know it? We're just going to do it. And then once their diapers are changed, we can age them on up and head on to the makeover. So let's come on and come on. 
Yeah, okay, you're gonna change your diaper on the changing table anyways. Oh, and she just peed on you. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, skip prom. We don't have time for it. It. Are you... How's your, your skill? Are you done? You are done. Okay, awesome. Actually awesome. So you can keep care of your knees real quick because your knees are not good. So let's come take a shower. Use the restroom and then you can eat whatever you want. Everyone did their homework, right? Hold on. You both did your homework. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay, we are changing a diaper. All right, you are done. So let's go ahead. Mom, you have Zelda, right? No, you have Zayla. William, you have Zelda. I kind of want Mom to age them all up. So could you actually put Zelda down here? And Mom, when you're done, you can put Zayla down here. And then we can age uh, Miss Zelda up. So let's go ahead and more choices open. Pull out the cake. So let's see. 13 hours left. Perfect. Okay. Mom, I would like you to come here and more choices. Help blow out candles. Zelda. I can't believe we actually did this in one episode. The fact we got him out of the infant stage in one episode is actually amazing. Can you come here and throw this away and clean this up and whatnot? What? Why are you playing peekaboo? I told you to age Zelda up, please. Alright, all y'all be happy. What are you doing? Don't go, go night night. No, you're not going night night. You are being aged up. You are very much being aged up. Alright. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta get her birthday candle pitcher. Alright, come here. Let's get your pitcher, darling. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay. Alright, Zelda. It's time for you to age up into a child. Woohoo! Alright, alright. So, or not a child, a child player. Duh. Sorry, sorry. I am just out of it at this point. My brain is exhausted. Okay, but I'm just gonna randomize her trait. So one, two, three. She got angelic. Aww. She went from sensitive to angelic. And oh my gosh, she so needs makeover. That is not gonna do. That is not gonna do. Oh, William, are you done? Can you come here and add birthday candles, please? Like as fast as possible before this toddler comes and eats it. Thank you. All right, toddler. I am going to get you out of the way of the pitcher because you have not had a makeover. William, also, if you could go over here. And we can also multi-sell everything in your inventory for $412. Alright. Alright. Mama, it is time to help lock candles Zach. Zach was our next born, so he awesome. will go next. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, what do you need? Honestly, just eat something. It's 8 o'clock at night. Do some eating. He, you're not even getting eat. Come on, just get a quick meal. Get some chips. All right. It is time to age Zach up. And, uh, William, I don't want you going to bed. I would like you to go here. Very much would like you to go here. So let's go ahead and get this picture of Zach aging up. Oh, my God. Why did I put the walls down? They were already up. All right. There we go. Good job, buddy. Okay, you are aging into a toddler. Okay, come on. All right. One, two, three. Silly. Aw, how cute. Oh, his hair is adorable. Okay, hey. Um, you. Stop. Uh, and add birthday candles. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, everyone's sending gifts. Everyone's sending gifts. All right. So, William, you can now get out of the shot. Go back in here. Um, go back in here. You, sir, can go over here. And, Mom, the last one, help out candles, Zayla. All right. Come on. Get Zayla. And let's age this girl up. Come on. Alright, here we go. Let's get this shot. Alright, and... There we go. There we go. Whew! That was stressful! 
that was so stressful. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, randomize her trait. One, two, three. She's inquisitive. All right, William, one more thing out of you. I want you to come add birthday candles one more time so we can save the cake. Come, come help me save the cake. Come on. Come on. Thank you. All right. So let's go ahead and put this cake in the fridge. And honestly, I'm going to do the makeover. It's 9 o'clock at night. I am legit going to give them makeovers and put them to bed. And I will start over next episode. So there's not going to be more gameplay in this part. So oh, let's go do the makeovers and end the episode. All right, here we finally are with the Z Triplets Toddler Makeovers, the last toddlers we will have in this series. So let's start with the order they were born in. So first we have Zelda, and a reminder that they are going in rainbow order, so she's going to be red and orange, next one's going to be yellow and green, and then the final one will be blue and purple. So this is Zelda. I kind of gave her the braid look. I just thought that was fitting for someone named Zelda with this color hair. And look at her eyes. She's so cute. Okay, but anyways. So I tried to mainly go with red on top and orange on bottom. Some of the outfits, it kind of switches. But this is her everyday wear. We have her formal wear. As it kind of switches here. We have her sleepwear. We have her party wear. There wasn't much like red and orange, so I, I did red dress with orange shoes. Uh, here's her swimwear, a yellow swimsuit with orange floaties. We have her hot weather, which is the same as her every day. And then the, her cold weather is a red hoodie, orange jeans, and some orange shoes. So that is Miss Zelda, the first part of the rainbow. And then we have Zach, our little boy, who is yellow on top and green on bottom. You know, his shirt does have a little bit of green in it, but he looks so cute. He's going to have a very distinctive face, though. I can already tell. But he gave him kind of the long, shaggy hair. This is his everyday wear, kind of like just a cool button-up with some shorts. We have his formal wear. We brought back the top he wore as a toddler or as an infant. And paired it with some green shorts. And then for his sleepwear, I just did what I could. I did what I could. We have yellow on top, green on bottom. Party wear is the same as his formal. Swimwear, there wasn't a lot of good yellow tops. So I just gave him green swimwear. Uh, we have his hot weather wear, which is the same as his everyday. And then his... Uh, cold weather is a the lion hoodie from when he was younger with some green pants. And then these boots were like green with little yellow straps. I thought it was too perfect. So we gave him some boots. And that is Zach. And then finally, the final sim, our blue and purple sim, is Zayla Zimmer. So she is actually a spellcaster. So that's why she's able to have pointy ears. So, oh, I don't know. I think she's really cute. I love the little pointy ears. It reminds me a lot of Link. But this is her everyday wear. Uh, and then we have her formal wear. I thought was cute. And then this is her sleepwear. She very much likes rodents, apparently. That's what the game has decided. And then this is her party wear. I love the little colored shirt with these puffy shorts. I think it's too cute. Uh, we have her swimwear. Funny enough, she was actually just generated into the swimwear. I was like, blue on top, purple on bottom. Perfect. So we kept it. Um, and then her everyday is the same as all the other ones. Are this, are her hot weather the same as all the other ones is the same as her everyday. And then her cold weather. We got a hoodie, some leggings, and some big fluffy boots. So that is all of the makeovers for the toddlers. So I'm going to end this episode here. Like I said, we aren't going to do any more gameplay in this part. Because getting them from infants to toddlers while dealing with everyone else was stressful. I mean, three toddlers is going to be stressful. But three infants was stressful. So... 
I will see y'all next part. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and all that awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.